today. You got it. You are Chris. Chris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. This is your shop. This is my shop. Yeah. Black walnut. Um, All of this is local. All of this is from Colorado. Amazing. Oh, look at this one. You know, this is actually a Colorado weed tree. This is Russian olive, but it's it's beautiful. It's gorgeous wood. Did you stain this? No. That's, that's natural. natural finish. Woo. That's that's the thing about our walnut on the west west coast. Mm -hmm. The you know Midwest too. It's it's so much prettier than that dark stuff from back east. I think mm -hmm. it's really nice that you know we've got craftsmen again. We're, we're yeah. Starting to pick up again. So you just sell um you just sell off slabs too. I sell slabs, yeah, as well, and uh, store more logs. So I've got probably. 20, 30,000 board feet of just cut lumber, just in slab form. It's, it's in the different processes of drying. So you have essentially three locations. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of what it takes. Uh, the project in Estes, uh, the project in Estes, uh, two of them are rounds that you didn't do the bases for, but three of them are three rectangles you did the bases for. And are those going in? Well, I guess we'll go up there and see them. The infamous, the now infamous Paul Brown. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> so thanks for taking the time because yeah. it's it's a very cool. I was telling Chris, very cool, both you guys. So this is we'll go see this today. We're going up to Estes. This is actually a slab from Chris. So that one will actually have sinks on top of it, and then this is a shelf right underneath it. So that that setup is at these cabins. Yep. Oh, cool. See all of it. Oh, cool. So that's one of the tables. And so they're going to have their own they're kind of characters. Different. Yep, they're all different, but it adds character to the piece. It does. You do not want to drive. Yeah, I got this Turo. This drive is freaking awesome. You want to be looking out video, the Yeah, I would love to shoot yeah. and ride. That would yeah. be great. I'll drive that. All right. Tell me about this, how this project actually came about because I, up until this point, like I've been getting the bits and pieces from Chris. How did you get um, hired to do these cabins or how did so you So do... I actually know the guy who works for the company that's building these. Oh, okay. And he called me in to look at the cabinets. Figuring out the cabinet situation. I took one look at the cabinets and I said, can I just be totally honest with you right now? <laughs> and he was like, absolutely. I was like, these are the worst cabinets I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. I have a guy that I've worked with for years that has a few different, you know, a bunch of different lines of cabinets or whatever. Mm -hmm. These vanity tops we want to build. We have this powder bathroom thing we want to build. Do you want to do the trim pack? 
do you want to make these tables? And we just kind of kept taking it all on. The two that we'll walk in today are actually staged, and I think they're, they, they've already sold, but they're, like, it's furniture, beds, everything are in there. And those are the only two that are fully those completed? Those are the only two that are fully completed. So it came to the point where you were going to do those shelves, and that's when you were like, I want Live Edge, and then you called Chris. Kind of. Kind of. Um, <laughs> we actually met through a mutual acquaintance. He needed uh, the, the slabs. He bought a slab to start this out and needed it sanded, needed it finished. And then from there, I was able to help him with the rest of the slabs. And then all he would have to do is bring them up here and install them. Oh, man, I'm excited to see this. So these are the ones that are all still being worked on. Hey, how you doing, man? What's going on? Okay, starting now? Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you. Oh! Hey, I just want to say thank you to Chris and Paul for offering their precious time up, um, being open-minded and respectful people in general. It was an awesome experience for me, even though I was thrashed from the altitude sickness. And in the video, I made it appear like I was a normal and functioning human being. When I got back, I, I was really thankful for the opportunity to go and meet people outside of our bubble and shake the hands of the builders that are making products with our table legs. So thank you so much again.